Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Justin. I'm a major disappointment to my parents. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, welcome to this video, this special collaboration in which we are, um... Actually, no, I think I might have to change the mic just so, like, these guys can capture him just fine. We have, uh, Merrick, once again, joining us. Uh, let's see if I can actually get a video of him real quick because, um, I don't think I'll be able to capture, like... A full video with him in it so there he is right there we're doing a skype call Ooh, while we're we'll we'll tra keeping track of our audio and so yeah and uh let me just uh, switch this oh. to omnidirectional all right perfect so what merrick is going to do for us today he has two quizzes one of them's gonna be on his channel one on ours uh and the one we're doing here is gonna be the anime quiz so he's going to ask us a couple of questions as him as the host. And without further ado, Merrick, you have the floor. Now, by the way, hey. <coughs> oh, God, this is really fucking good. <coughs> so, today we have a few lovely contestants who will be competing for the title of, of the Dang It Anime Man. Anim <laughs> Can it be Dang It Anime Man? I didn't realize you're Dang on, man. on a quiz show. Mm. Damn it. Well, anyway, continue, continue. Like <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> the way you're gonna win this title is but I, of course, answered the questions correctly, bro. <laughs> I okay. mean, these are questions about opinion. These are Stop questions about multiple choice of statement and the true of false. Okay. And all the key points as well, so that you don't even have to worry about those points, man. Sweet, sweet. Alright, so I'm going to just say out, out front, I'm not going to do well on this. <laughs> I think David out of all of us will do the best. I uh, will see. It just depends on the category, because I know literally nothing about Shonen. Oh, God. Uh, oh, man. If only we, we, need, we need Naya. Yeah. That's what we needed. Yes, yes. But, uh, oh, don't worry. I won't have any One Piece in here. Okay. Juan Peso, as long as it's not there. I think we'll do A-okay. Just right. Yeah. Alright. Are you ready for the first question? See. Skip your shit. Uh, first question. In which country is censorship of the famous anime Naruto uh, caused Sabusa's skill team play to lose his blade? Uh, can you... Is it A. China, B. Germany, C. Norway, or D. Russia? Uh, actually, can you repeat that question again? Something about censorship in Naruto. Yeah. Some death. I think that's really in which all the. This country is censorship of Naruto. A Sabuza's guillotine blade in to lose his blade. Oh, something like that. Some weird <laughs> censoring like that. And what were the categories again? China, Russia, Norway, Germany. I expect it's going to have to. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to echo that. I'm going to say Norway. Okay, so really, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Norway. Norway and Justin. I'm, I'm thinking Norway too, because I think Russia. Like, wait, no, no not, Russia. not Germany either. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have to go with Norway. Germany might also be a viable candidate, but yeah, I'll stick with Norway. And you all failed. Oh. Congratulations. What was the real answer? It was Germany. Uh, it was Germany. Germany <laughs> to them, get a team play me from by using intensive Photoshop. Mm. Wow. Uh, so, the beauty as of... the score stands, no points for anybody. Okay. So, are we ready for the second question? Yes. yes. Now, this is a yes or a no question. Does the anime manga go to assistance on to animation uh, consist of short episodes or regular episodes? Could you repeat that, please? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what the fuck you say. <clears throat> Does the anime manga go to assistant son to who animation consists of short episodes? Yes or no? Yes. We got one for yes. So let's go yes. And Steven. Bye. Uh, I'll choose yes. Yeah, we all choose the and same answer. And then we some points. Once again, y'all answered correctly. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just once again. The group chain is strong with this one. <laughs> now, are we ready for 
Is this a question? Si. Yes. What is the Idol Master series based out of? A. A visual novel series. B. A mobile game series. Or C. A light novel series. What was the anime? Idol Master. Idol Master? I don't know. Based off a mobile game. I was gonna say game, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking- Well, I know for a fact Love Lives based on, uh, based on a mobile game series. Pretty sure Idol Master is too. It's either that or a light novel series, but I'm gonna say mobile game. It normally is the case, as far as I've seen, but I'm gonna go with mobile game, because something like with Idol Master in the, in the title it just kind of screams like it could have been a game. Well, there- Steven! What was the, the, what was the choices? Jesus. Uh, it was light- Visual game. novel, mobile, mobile game, or light novel. Ah, that was more And you all get the point! Yeah. Wow, you were on fire! Bandwagon Do we orders? keep choosing the same answer? Hey, yeah. I'm going with what I believe is the right You go point. after, you know, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> next question! <laughs> uh, the next question is gonna be a doozy for all of you. Now, you're going to have to guess an anime's story. Huh? An anime story? Yes, I'm only going to give you the title, and you have to guess by that same title you know, what the story of the anime is. Right. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's go. Can't be The anime worse. is Anitore XX. <laughs> what? No. It's a hentai. No. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll go let you guys <laughs> answer first on this yeah. one. No, that's not Damn it. I was hoping the XX would work. I'm staying with my answer, yeah, by the way. There's a lot of things that have XX, and it's not hentai. Okay, so Justin is going for How about a hentai. Uh, can I change my answer to etchy? Can I go? <laughs> can I change it to etchy genre? And I have no idea what the plot is, so I'm not going to answer that. So it's etchy. I'm going with that. Okay, do you, the other two have any guesses? I'm choosing his answer. It's an etchy. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Oh, both Steven and Justin are going for Edgy. David, do you got any ideas? It, it's a slice of life that takes place in, in a middle school, and it's one of those all-girl cast kind of deals, but it's not just slice of life, because they also fight monsters in their spare time. While, uh, like, this, this love triangle goes on, there's, like, this boy, one of the girls is gay, uh, so she's pawning after one of the other girls, presumably the lead and the male character. Uh, and did I mention that they're slaying monsters? So what I'm hearing yes, is... Yes, you mentioned that twice. Okay, that's my answer. So what I'm hearing is... Etchy. We all get a point. No, it's one. not Etchy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give Steven and Justin a point for Etchy. But the anime is actually about the exercise. What? Yes, sports. Morning exercises. Ooh. Short episodes of morning exercises that have certain kinky elements, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yay! Yes, uh, Okay, so the next one is gonna be just like the other. This time your title is Pillow Boys. What? Pillow yes, Boys? That story. Or Makura no Danchi, if you're good with Japanese. <laughs> Go on. I don't know. Well, what do you guys think it is? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's an anime that runs parallel to super lovers. There's a guy, and there's an adopted son in the family. Guy falls in love with this adopted brother. What the? <laughs> Are you making this up? <laughs> or do you know it? It's He's practically reading the entire synopsis in a very simplified version of, of Super Lovers. I personally see them quite comedic. I love it. That's so, did the other two have any sort of guesses? What uh, say you, Steven? I got nothing, man. It's gay hair. So, it, it, it's, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like Uran Host Club, except they're all, they're, they're all, like, high, high school age boys, uh, who, who do, like, slumber parties, and they have a slumber party club, and there's a bunch of, like, sexual tension going on, but of course it never, like, grows into fruition. It's just a giant gay pillow harem. Sounds like sword art, actually. Hmm. 
compiling answers now. I'll give this one to David, as he's pretty close. Yeah, hey, Super <laughs> Lovers is close fun. too! <laughs> you're missing the key, the key, like, harem element. Oh, you're right. Oh. Now, think about it this way. Think what would happen if Dora the Explorer were turned into an anime. These are short or five minute episodes, which with each individual boy, the Daxla, and Dora the Explorer asking you questions, doing all that. Was meant to be a psychological crutch for, for single women. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next question. Let's see. What is the anime Hero Bank based off of? Hero Bank. A. A DS game series. B. A mobile game series. Or C. A light novel. I'm going with C. With, yeah, I'm going with light novel. You know what? Fuck you guys. It's it's based off a DS game series. Oh, would you look at that, David's on fire! No, oh, I've never heard of this. Hero Bank? What is? <laughs> it's in the Japan exclusive. Yeah, of course. No wonder. Of course, I know nothing about it. Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm I spent the past like four that. years studying this. Yes, <laughs> yeah, Japanese games. <laughs> with, anyway. a, with a minor on Japanese culture and history. Sees the game on show. Alright. Now, next question. Well, actually, this is a statement that you have to tell me if you think it's true or false. Oh, shit. So, the statement is there is an Iron Man anime out there. Oh, yeah. True or false? True, true, true. Would you look at that? They all got it correct. I wonder why that is. I've seen a few bits of it here and there. It's. I don't have much of an opinion. <laughs> it's there. Oh boy. The next one's gonna be quite fun. Next question What is the English title for Kekai Sensen? Now. This is a multiple choice question which okay. has two correct answers. Ah, oh, what? Alright, so I'll me. give you your four choices now. First off, Blood Blockade Battlefront. Second, Blood Line Battlefront. Third, Blood Front Battle Line. Fourth, Battle Blood Front Blockade. I'm gonna Which go. of these is correct? If you can pick both of them both correctly, you get two points. Uh, well. Oh, I'm gonna go with the second one and the third one. Uh, could you read them off one more time, please? Okay uh, hey then. Blood, blood cake, eat battlefront, blood line battlefront, blood front battle line, battle blood front blockade. Well, one of them's got to be bloodline, right? Because Sen Sen literally means bloodline. Uh, K, Ken, battle, and then Ken's front. So it's got to be whatever the uh, the bloodline battle front or uh, battle front bloodline, whatever option that was. So two and four. That was the second one. Okay, let's go. Boom, Steven, do you have any guesses? Two and four. You all get one point. Okay, 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 yeah. The first and the second one were the correct ones. First and second one. Ooh. Alright. Okay. I'm the scores. I'm about to snatch them David's points later. leading by one point, boys. I am so, the anime master. <laughs> the next question is gonna be extremely brutal. This is about a character from an anime known as Metaka Box. The character oh, is no. Isoki Kumagawa. What is his title that he is called most by by other students in the anime? Shisho. A. The biggest fool. B. The biggest loser. C. The screwmaster. Or D. The two-faced psychopath. It's obviously the fucking screwmaster. I want. To, I want to say that too. I want to say that one because it's funny. <laughs> uh, me too. I'm gonna to say number one. Okay, so what did the other two say? 
Screwmaster. So nice to see. None of you get a point. Ah, oh, I don't care. Called, almost the biggest loser oh, in all of humanity, that is. Second one. They had to be screwed. And so, it's no game. Next one. Guess that story. Oh, here we Your go. Your title is Mega Nebu or Glasses Club. So it works based like Naruto. You have this one kid who goes to school. Fuck that, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Starting strong, but you know, couldn't finish. What say you, Steven? Brain just went. Just spit it out. I knew you got it in you. So what were the options again? <laughs> no, if you have to make up a story for this anime called Glasses Club. Glasses Club. Ooh. Yeah, that's a brutal question. At the bottom there, it's there. Alright, so it's it's another slice of life. <laughs> I am very tempted to say that it's like a Joshi, but it's probably more mixed. So you got boys and girls. You got a disproportionate amount of girls to boys in this club. Uh, and and it, it, it's consisted of like shorts where they all meet and the sexual tension is really high and there's a love triangle. And also, a there's triangle. a lesbian love triangle, like lesbian love triangle, because every slice of life has to have that, especially ones that run short series. And they run into a bunch of low stakes shenanigans that have absolutely no impact on anything whatsoever, and it's just them having a good time. And like maybe they fight demons. Sounds like a previous okay. question. Okay, <laughs> now do you want to hear the actual story? Uh, yeah. Can we also get a year of date in which the anime was released? Uh, frankly, I don't have that information on hand right at this moment. But I can high tell high you high it's high quite high. modern. Hmm. So, Glasses Club is about uh, the little club uh, of a few boys and one girl Damn. trying to achieve one goal to make Damn. ultimate X ray glasses. So, I'll give David a point because he pointed out uh, the girl boy ratio difference. It's a two. Cool. Let's go there. It's a two thousand thirteen. It's actually a two thousand thirteen anime. Yeah, it's pretty new, but it probably sucked. Uh, I've never seen it. Sadly, probably sucked. Anyway, any, any more questions? Already? Of course, we have twenty, so we still have ten more to go. Oh That's Jesus Christ! Damn. <laughs> more chance so, for you to next win. one. Guess that story. Now we're going needless. Needless? Okay. I'll let you guys go. Needless. It's about a girl with some kind of issue with her body, whether it's psychological or physical, doesn't matter. It's a problem, and it's always repeated within the story every single time, especially to the protagonist. It's always uh, all-knowing. And it's just about this guy just trying to make this or help this girl in every way he can, but fails tragically till the very last episode in which they fuck. I mean, that's it. <laughs> Quite simple. Any other guesses? What's the you, Steve? Some off drama there. That's my answer. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I think Justin hit the head, hit nail on the head for the most part. Except for the part where they fuck in the end, because that never happens. It always ends in some sort of like weird, ambiguous state within some sort of relationship. Uh, but on top of that, it's also more of oh, like a psychological drama. It's a 12-part series, or a 12-episode series. And the main character is a girl. She's a high school girl. And she's constantly tormented by like her relationship with her dad or her brother or something but it's something wrong with the male figure in her life uh so she never feels like she needs to fill the void with a boyfriend and there are people that are trying to like fill that void for her but she keeps on rejecting them uh and so she turns to a female lover in the end but the relationship ends in some sort of ambiguity because the protagonist doesn't really have any sort of concept of her own sexual identity because of her tormented past so she doesn't know where she stands Psychological. Love it. Although that isn't correct. Needless. 
is an anime based in Japan and that has suffered several all devastating blows. Certain places of Japan are now on a wasteland where special uh, humans have, have risen with special powers. Needless they are called, and that their powers are very really unique. Will they save this land or will they destroy it? Find out in the next episode. That was Damn close. It. That was close. We were all off. That was so close though, I mean... I will give this one to Justin because he pointed out there there was a character with a disturbed psyche. It's so vague. There were several female characters. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter whether it was, it didn't matter what kind of problems she had. It was all knowing. She had a problem. <laughs> anyway, it's so oh. next question. This one's gonna be about a very popular anime, okay. Black Butler. No! Now, Good that, guy. All right. All right. I Good never watched it, but I will. Black Butler series has risen in with a few new titles. Black Butler Book of Murder and Book of Circus. Now, it's believed that in 2017 there will be another book of. So, what is this book of? Guess it now. Oh, we're going to get multiple choice. Uh, uh, it's going to be called Black Butler. Uh, National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets. <laughs> I blow into the book Nick Cage. I'm gonna guess Black Butler 2, My Soup is Cold. <laughs> so, what was the right answer? I'm still Secrets. waiting for Steven's guess. I know. Uh, it was what, Black Butler out your butthole or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly no, but I think that's actually a hentai on the title. Nice. So, Black Butler, Book of the Atlantic. What? Of course. That what was... to do with the Titanic. What? Oh. That, was, that was the logical Please? guess. Think about the era that Black Butler is based in. If you would have thought about that, as then you would have gotten that. See, the answer would have been, you still would A, needed to stretch, and B, have an extensive knowledge of Black Butler, but I guess this is with us. You know, let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going because I also got I a message at uh, zero the... knowledge of Black Butler. I watched zero of it. Yeah. Also, let's uh, move past the whole no. erotica. The uh, next one is another statement. You have to guess if it's true or false. Okay. The statement uh, is: There is an anime where Jane Marble and Hercule Poirot are characters in the anime. True or false? False. Also, I just wanted to say that I got a message on my laptop saying it might restart soon. This might happen. So, some bullshit might happen. So, just want to prepare everyone. If the laptop just suddenly shuts down or restarts, that might happen. False. Stay false. You're all incorrect. Damn. Uh. Should have. <laughs> You want to? Uh, uh, this is too fun for me. David's still holding the lead strong with two points out of everybody. Yeah. I think he didn't want. What? <laughs> the next one. Guess that story. We're going. R O D T V. There's not a lot of variations in this question, are there? Rod T V. Raw TV. That's the title of the show, right? Rod. So, Rod, Rod TV. Rod TV. So it it's can't a, not be hentai. It's a slice of life about just kind of like a documentary slice of life of this guy who does pornography, right? I and see. I, I think news reporters. That's my answer. It, it's pornography. It's pornography. It, is it? And it just goes through the struggles of how a man must keep the camera rolling, even when he gets attached to these different actors and actresses. That's right, he's bi- he's bi-curious. <laughs> Actually, he's bisexual. So that's my answer. Hmm. What's the you, Steven? I thought- Do you want me to give you a concrete answer right now, Justin? I haven't answered yet. <laughs> he hasn't answered yet. <laughs> Gotta give yes, him a chance. but this is also a hint. Justin, I'll give you a time to redo it, but I'll say it right now. You are not even close. Ah. I'll stay with my answer. <laughs> wow, that's bold. Cool. Uh, it, it, it's a series that's kind of similar to uh, to Welcome to the NHK, where there's like there's this neat or this guy who like lives in his mother's basement or lives in an apartment and never leaves the house, 
uh, and he happens upon this channel that's like quasi pornographic, and he's getting really into it, and you find that his life is completely absorbed by porn uh, until he is. Uh, it, it, there's it, like halfway through, he, he comes to this uh, realization, uh, so he goes and gets a job, but little does he know. He gets a job with that very TV station and perpetuates this neat lifestyle for all the other people that watch it. Mm, interesting. Steven, could they think? No, I'm not a storyteller, damn it! <laughs> Fuck! Mm. So, do you want me to give you the longer title of this anime? No. Be no, no, no. or Die TV. So, the TV happens to be on a lot of anime these days. Read or Die, an anime about. Uh, the female old writer that shows up of uh, the detective agency consisting of three females who know how to use paper in very dangerous ways. Showing them you know, on their journeys to see you know, what mischief they'll get into and what cases they'll solve with their paper manipulation powers. Sounds stupid. Mm, sounds like a Yes, but it exists. <laughs> So, so next one um, yeah. is going to be a little bit different. You're going right. to be retranslating a parody title into its actual title. Ooh. So time to guess. Okay. Retranslate this parody title. Rail oh. Horse. <laughs> Rail Horse. I, so, I, I, I assume that's like a porn parody or something that actually exists. No, this is a YouTube parody. Oh. I got the answer. I'm not gonna say it. You guys say it first. Yeah, no, say it. No, you say it, you say it, motherfucker. You, you say you say yeah, I have the answer. You say the answer, huh? Well, why don't you give your answer then? Because I don't have one. Well, why don't you answer then? Scale oh, wait, still your answer. Come on. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll devolve to my default answer and say re zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anything revolving I'll say around. this much. It's definitely not in the medieval ages. I'll tell you that much. Alright, new life then. Definitely in the modern era. Alright, new life then. <laughs> Alright, right. default answer. Alright, Steven? Okay, seems that Steven isn't giving me anything. Alright, hey, so. Let's let's like have his answer, answer be nothing here. Alright. Man, I'm not a storyteller, damn it! You just have to pick <laughs> like, the name of All right. what this thing is. Rail, Rail Horse is actually an abridged video. I think it's made like one episode because of, for reasons. But it's based off of Rail Wars. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need to know about that. It's slightly there. Bravo! Bravo! Indeed, you got it correct. Now you're tied up with David. Oh shit. We still got a few more questions uh, before we see who takes it up. Oh, that's the thing. Come on, you better be mad. So, Slide. next question. Last question. What is Ray the Animation a spin off of? Ah. Black Jack, Super Revolution, or Shine the Animation? Go with number two. I will. S I'll go with number three. Let's stick to that. I'll also go with number three. Oh shit! <laughs> shit! It was wrong with number one. <laughs> one of us had to have been correct. But yeah. No. 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 Blackjack. Do you even no. know what the anime is about? Nope. No. No. Told you. Told you. Told you. Told you. Told you. And do you know when it was made? Nope. In the really, really early eras of sea anime. <laughs> she just said yeah. Right around the same time as Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon! So, oh. Blackjack uh, is an anime about uh, the genius male surgeon that uh, can help anybody in the world for yeah, the right I'll price. Just, yeah. Ray the animation is a spin-off of uh, where Blackjack saves a girl who lost both of her eyes due to an accident. Nice. Now Ray, the girl that got his eye, is back has the ability to see he, in a very clear way and study surgery to help others like he, she was helped. Okay. Dr. Strange. Yeah, it's like Dr. Strange. Alright. 
So that was a question. Oh, that was You lied! Okay. I haven't started lying yet, but who knows, maybe I will. <laughs> so, next question is of the three answers in one answer. The thing is, the anime is Recorder and Ranchell. It has three seasons. What are the add-ons to each different season? The add-ons are, are notes in, in, well, musical or oh, basics. So practically the answers I've given you are Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, Si, La, Ti, Do, Mi, Fa, Sol. These are all different though. Oh, it's because oh, it's, it's a music based anime. Uh, Number one, there I quit. Um, you can't quit. I'm gonna say that I kind of lost interest in the middle of that, so I'm gonna go with the third option. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it's number one makes the most sense, do re mi. Ooh, what are you saying, Steve? You and David bring it home. Ah. Uh, I mean, he did, <laughs> he did study this for four years. <laughs> well, then just do re mi are the first notes. It's gonna do re mi plus what you do, so it makes sense it would go. Dorian, Isn't there an anime called Dorian? Yeah. That's or does it? Alright, let's see. Let's hear that answer though. Well, there is an anime that has Dorian as one single verb, or that is the second That's word. the only reason I chose it. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Alright. So, next question. This is about a fairly old, old series of short films that is collectively called Robot Carnival. How many animators were requested to help open this endeavor? Multiple choice? <laughs> no. No. You have to pick a number. Give me a number. <laughs> Foul. Okay, well, this is probably in the day before, well, actually, no, even back in the day, they went and resorted to, uh, like, production companies in Korea and Southeast Asia. Uh, so if this was just a local production, I'm going to say, my guess would be 10. I got 10 animators. I'm gonna oh, yeah, say by that, the way, closest number wins. Yeah, <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna say that this is a trick question. And there was no requested animators. <laughs> it was all made by <laughs> one person. You cannot give me an answer like that. It needs to be higher than one, buddy. Did you say, say 1.1? <laughs> <laughs> 3. There you go, Mr. Okay, so we got 5, 3, and 10. So, David is the closest. Yeah. The, requ the requested animators were 9 different individuals who produced oh, each oh, different short really movies. Close. <laughs> really close. Shit. Alright, I'll take it. Okay. So, the next one is a question. If an anime is or isn't, is the anime da 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 an anime? Yes! It is. I've <laughs> seen it. I've seen all of it. <laughs> You've seen Da Da Da? <laughs> yes! And it's awesome, because like the OP is uh, a song called Boy Meets Girl, and it's really catchy. <laughs> wow. Wait. Wh oh, that's the actual title! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna go with yes, because yeah. just what? <laughs> it's so... it's good. It's just so do we have a collective yes? Yes. 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 Let's go with yes. Let's go with yes. Everybody gets a point. I'm about to check this out. Yeah. <laughs> like the entire series is on YouTube. You can check it out. Sure. Dot dot dot. Yeah. Okay. Dot like in Russian yes three times. Oh dot dot dot. Okay. So wait, okay. how many more questions, uh, Merrick? Just want to make sure because this is the last question. Uh, okay. Oh, Same here. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh she. So. Which of these villains exists in the One Punch Man universe? One Punch. Super Bomb, Poverty God, Cubic Systems, or Construction Manager? I'm going Construction Manager. What were the options again? What was that first? Super Bomb, Poverty God, Cubic Systems, Construction Manager. Construction Manager. Construction Manager. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh. The right answer was probably God. Although he's not been shown in the anime, the manga, 
but he has been shown in the original comic. Oh. A man and who got fucked up after one night of drinking. He ended up poor and now has the power of all might in the S rat and monster. What are you saying? All right. So, so we have calculated our winner. Oh boy. Obviously, it's David. Oh uh, damn, I won. Anime man. And I'm an even bigger disappointment to my parents. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, nice job, David. Uh, don't worry. At least your disappointment is immortalized in video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. yeah. Good. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, David notes, on average, most of them on these questions, just like a good number of them, while Steven and I don't. Uh, yeah, you can burn this recording. You can burn this video. You can burn this house down. Okay. On top of this video. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're actually, anime. admittedly, we are not good with anime. Whether you did that on purpose or not, I mean, it doesn't even so, matter. So it's all recorded. Yeah. So the tribute was a little obscure, yeah. Anyway, I hear, I hear that there's another quiz going on. Not on this channel, but there's a concurrent quiz going on on, on Merrick Lakey's channel. Merrick Lakey's channel. So you guys go check it out after. Uh, hopefully, both can be like uploaded at the same time. I can synchronize with that, but yeah. You guys can check out that video. It's apparently going to be super uncomfortable for us. So, well, not for me. It's only super uncomfortable if you're actually really familiar with oh, the subject matter. Oh, don't worry, matter. Steven. I'll make it extra uncomfortable for you. God damn it. But yeah. How you... familiar with you are on this subject matter, Steven? Eh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> Alright. Well, well, I got a pretty interesting side note. Hmm. Steven likes showed us, doesn't he? Mm. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> Yeah, but I guess in the meantime, we're going to end this video, yeah. and you guys can hopefully just jump on to the other one, or you, you might be coming back, coming to this one, hearing from uh, Merrick's one. So, thank you guys so much for watching our, um, and, uh, thanks for, <laughs> and thanks for watching, hashtag bye guys. Uh, please don't tell anyone, this, this is my life.